three videos in this series. First video is for beginner builders. The second video is for intermediate builders. And the third video is for advanced build builders. This video is for intermediate builders. So if you are not new to Lego and you've kind of been working with the Lego a little bit, uh, this is a good video for you. We're going to be going over some of the basic bricks that you would usually use as well as some other types of bricks. And today I'm gonna to introduce you guys to brick locking. So these are the pieces that you are going to need today. Feel free to collect them and pause the video to give yourself enough time. I personally have put down here grays, but you can choose whatever color scheme you want. I've put some examples here. I do suggest choosing two colors if you want to do a two color scheme. If you do want to do an all color scheme and use whatever colors you have, my suggestion is just that you choose these darker grays. You want to use black so that you'll be able to actually see your doors and your windows. So again, go ahead and collect those. Feel free to pause if you need time. All right, so for my castle today, I'm actually gonna build what looks like a sand castle. Again, you guys can do whatever color scheme you want, um, but just make sure to follow along with the right number of bricks and the right um, size of the bricks, and you'll be able to build one as well. So the first brick we need is actually a plate. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six by six. So six studs on this side, six studs on this side, and again, it's a plate, so it's one of the flat ones. We're gonna just get gonna set that right in front of us. The second bricks we need, so we have our two color schemes. We want our darker bricks. This one is a two by four, so it's a total of eight studs. We're gonna take two of those. Again, these are our darker color if you're doing the two schemes. If you're doing the multiple color ones, this is where I suggest you use the black bricks. This is gonna be our doorway. So we're gonna stack those on top of each other and we're gonna add it to our plate and we're leaving a little bit of space on each side. So just like that, and that's gonna be our doorway. The next bricks we want, this is our light color. So if you're using two colors, you want your lighter color for this. This is a one by two brick. We're gonna take two of those and we're gonna stack them. And we're gonna take two more and we're gonna stack those as well. So we have two stacks of two bricks each. Turn those and we're gonna set those in those spaces we left right next to our door. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this guy the next bricks that we want are going to be two of our two by fours. So this is the two by four, eight stud stool. I want two of those as well as a two by two brick. So two studs by two studs, a total of four studs. And I'm gonna set my first eight stud brick on the side there, give this little twirl my shorter brick, my two by four, two is gonna go in the middle, give it another twirl, and my two by four is gonna go right beside that. So we have one layer done there. Now we still have one layer that's above our other layer, and we're gonna to add to that one next. So for the next layer, we want two more of the, those two by fours, and one more of the two by two. The first one we're going to do, we're going to take one of those two by fours, we're going to come back to where we've got that side layer, and we're going to add it right on top. Give it a twirl. Instead of this one, which is what we did before, we're going to use the two by four so that we can cover that line there, and we'll talk about that a little later. That's called brick locking. Twirl, we have a hole here. We're going to fill that hole up, and now we have a level two layers of our castle. Now we're gonna talk about brick locking. So we need a total of four two by fours. We're staying in our light color. And what brick locking is, is whenever you're building, no matter what you're building, if you have the, um, the chance to brick lock, that makes any build you're doing stronger. And what brick locking is, like if I were to turn this, you can kind of see where this line is right there. So if I put this on where these two meet, there's a line. And you can kind of see, we didn't brick lock earlier, so it's a little wobbly there. And we don't want that to be that way, because if we continue that line up and we don't secure it, it's gonna fall apart on us. So brick locking means I'm gonna take my brick and I'm actually gonna cover that line so that it doesn't move anymore. So that line is covered by a full brick, and that is what brick locking is. So as we do this, we can go all the way around and brick lock all of those in. And that's our third layer. 
And because that's now brick locked, it's a lot more secure than if we didn't cover those lines. Now the thing with brick locking is our next layer, which uses another four of those two by fours, now we can see our lines again. So instead of putting our bricks the same way we just put them on, we are gonna change the method and we're gonna start by trying to cover one of those lines. So we're gonna brick lock that in. If I do that, you can see another line here. I'm gonna cover that, brick lock that, and then same thing on every side. So every time, no matter what you're building, if you have a chance to cover up a line like that and brick lock it in, that's, how, that's what's gonna make all of your builds strong. So that's what brick locking is. So we just added two more layers above our doorway. So we now have a total of four layers plus our plate. All right, so the next step, we're actually gonna add the windows to this guy. So if you're doing the two color scheme, your windows are gonna be your darker color. If you're doing the all color scheme, you should use the black for the windows as well. And what we need is four of the two by four bricks. I am going to be using the browns to match my door and to go with my sandcastle theme. So with our windows, we actually wanna put them in the middle of every side. So if I were to look at my side and I were to cover that up, I could see that I have one, two, three, four, five, six studs total this way. So if I wanna do the middle, I wanna leave two studs on each side. So I have one, two here, one, two for my window, and one, two here. And I'm gonna do that on every side. So if you see, I'm gonna kind of have a corner free on all of my edges. So that I have four windows, kind of in a cross, and then I have my corners free. So that's the first step of our windows. The second step of our windows is grabbing two by twos. These are four of these in that lighter color. And we're just gonna fill in those corners so that we have a, le a level and even area on top. So that's our windows. The next level is gonna be another set, four of those two by fours. And the thing about brick locking is yes, we can start brick locking here. You're gonna notice that because we used the little pieces all the way around, you're not gonna fully be able to brick lock this. There's always gonna be a line somewhere that you're not covering but that's okay because we can brick lock the next layer. So we're gonna add those four all the way around so that we have another layer on top. And then the first part of our castle is now done. So on top of this guy, we are gonna take another of the one, two, three, four, five, six by six. So six by six, this is our plate. We're just gonna stick that right on top and make sure you really squish that guy down. And that is the first part of our castle. We're gonna go ahead and set this guy aside because we're now gonna build the top part of our castle. So for the top part, we need, instead of a six by six, so you can see this guy is actually bigger. This is an eight by eight. So there's eight studs on here and eight studs here. So we're gonna set that guy in front of us. We are going to take one, two, three, four, five, six of our two by six bricks and we're just gonna put those all the way around. So just keep putting them on until you've covered the entire length around your plate, just like that. And then the very last thing we need is, I believe, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yep, of the two by two bricks. And these ones, if you're doing the two color scheme, use them in the light colors. Doesn't matter really in the multiple color scheme, you can use whatever you want. This guy, I ran out of the light colored brick, so I actually used a dark color brick. Kind of just gives it a little dimension. So it's all up to you. But for these guys, we are gonna start in one corner. We're gonna put that guy right in the corner. Then we're gonna count one stud space. So we don't wanna fill up one area. So it'll be two studs total that we'll be, we'll be able to see. So the next brick, we're gonna count the one stud and we're gonna add that guy onto the middle there. So we have again that one stud or two stud space. You can kind of see it there. And if you notice, by adding that guy, we've brick locked that other layer. Next guy, again, we're gonna make sure we're leaving a space and we're gonna stick that guy on. And that's our first edge. So we have a brick, a space, a brick, a space, and a brick. We're gonna turn it, do the same thing. We're gonna have a brick, a space, a brick, a space, and a brick. 
And we're going to do that all the way around. So brick, space, brick, space, brick. One last time, we have a brick, a space, a brick, a space, and a brick. So we have kind of a castle looking top here and there's spaces all around it. And that's the top, that's all you need to do. So we're gonna bring our castle back and we're gonna take this guy and when I add him on, I am purposely leaving one edge around every side. So you're gonna have an overhang on every side. And you're just going to squish him on, make sure he's nice and tight. And that is our castle. So the next build we're doing is a Lego heart. These are the pieces that you need. I did include just the red pieces for a one colored heart. You can use whatever color you want. If you want to make a one colored heart, that's fine. If you want to make a multiple colored heart, it's the same number of pieces, but you only just, just need to decide what colors you want to use. Sometimes it's easy just to have the bucket there and you can grab what you want um, color-wise in the right shapes as we go along. So now we're going to build our heart, and I've laid out all of my pieces. And we're going to start at the bottom, and we're going to build our way up. So the very first brick we need is a 2x2 two two brick, so it has two studs by two studs. And we're going to start with that one. I'm going to flip mine over just so that you guys can see it better. For you guys, it's easier to build up like this, or however you feel. If you feel like you need a base plate too, these can be a little unstable, then go ahead and grab a base plate. But for now, I'm going to build like this just so you guys can see. So our first brick is the 2x2. Two two. The next brick that we want is a 2x4, so it has 8 studs total. And this one we're going to add right in the middle. So we have an overhang on each side. And we're going to do that all the way up our heart. So as long as we are building and we have an overhang each time, then we're doing it right. The next brick that we want to build with is a 2x3 brick. So it has two on one side, three on the other, a total of six. I'm going to use two of these. Now when you are building this, if you happen to not have enough of the two by threes, or you're not sure you have enough of any of the other ones, this is where you can really use your substitution skills. If I'm using three two by three bricks, so a total of six studs each, and you don't have that, if you have a two by six brick, or a, which equals a total of 12 studs. Basically, it's two of these put together. So if you need to substitute bricks out to get the right amount, then go ahead. You'll notice that, like I said earlier, when we add those bricks on right in the middle, we have an overhang. If you have that overhang and you're using a different brick, you're doing it right. So again, all I did was I took my two by threes and I put them right in the middle on each side so that I have that overhang still. The next layer that we are going to add, we are going to use two more of those 2x3s as well as a 2x2 two two brick. So I'm going to start with the 2x2 two two, and I'm going to put it right in the middle and you'll notice we learned about brick locking earlier. That's exactly what I'm doing. So there was a line right here where the other two bricks met. Using this one I've covered that line and that makes it more stable. If I were to just put these guys on, you'll notice how quickly it falls apart but by using that other brick to cover that line, they're not gonna come apart as easily as they would otherwise. So covered that line with the two by two brick. I've got my two by threes. I'm gonna flip those over and add them to the two spaces that I still have. So you can still see I have that overhang going on. The next layer is this one here. We are going to use two more of the two by three bricks as well as a two by four brick. So using that 2x4 brick, again I'm going to brick lock. I have two lines here. So I'm going to cover that so that my brick covers both of those lines. And it leaves me two spaces, which is where I'm going to put my 2x3s. And again I have that overhang, so we're still doing okay. The next layer is all 2x3s. Again, if you need to substitute, you can, but I'm going to use four of these guys. And I'm just going to stick them all together in one big line, just like that. I'm going to flip them over, I'm going to add them on here. You'll notice once again that I am brick locking, covering the lines from the layer below. And that's what's going to keep your heart nice and stable. So there's four more that I just added. That's our next layer. For the next layer, we want two 2x4 two bricks and two 2x3 two bricks. And this is the one layer where we're actually not going to brick lock as much. I'm going to 
line this one up and you'll notice that the line meets exactly with this one. So we're not brick locking this line and that's just because of how the build goes. We will not be able to brick lock that, but that's okay. We did brick lock over here. Same thing, adding this guy on the other side. And I've got two spaces again. That's where my two by three bricks are going to go. So this is our last layer before we start coming inward instead of going outward. So the next bricks we want, so you want to grab two of the two by threes, one of the two by two. We're going to take our two by three and instead of going out this time, we're actually going to come in. So you'll see we have a space here, we jut out, and then we're going to jut back inside. So there's a space here going in, and that's where we're going to put our 2x3, followed right next to it with a 2x2. Two two. And then that other 2x3 we grabbed is going to go right in the middle on top of those two. So you have a space here and a space here. So that way you have go up, and then we're going to go back down. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, two 2x3s. Two and one two by two, starting with the two by three, leaving a space, putting that guy on there, and then adding right next to him the two by two, and then sticking our last two by three in the middle. And that is our Lego heart. So now that we've learned to build our heart, this is a great opportunity to build as many hearts as you want. You can see I have lots of one color hearts. I have a couple two color or even multiple color hearts. The nice thing about these hearts is you can see they are actually built to fit together. So the fun thing about these is once you've built, you can build as many as you want. We're going to actually build a heart sculpture with it. So for the sculpture, you'll want as many hearts as you can get as well as a base plate. Does not matter what the size is, just as long as you have a base plate, um, it'll help with your building. So I'm actually going to move my hearts aside and I'm going to bring my base plate in. And it's really, really simple. All you have to do is grab one of your hearts and this is completely up to you how you want to build it. I'm going to just kind of build so you can see the different options um, and you just kind of be creative. We would love to see your sculptures. You just stick your heart wherever you want to. So I'm going to stick that one there. I'm going to grab one. Doesn't really matter what. I'm going to do a green one now. And these you can put them side by side. You can put them together like that. You can completely go off the wall and do something crazy like this and just stick them wherever you want. So I have another one. So if I want, I can go like maybe all the way out here. Grab another one. Now, I've got three down, that's pretty good, but maybe I wanna go up. So this is the fun part. Because we left all of those edges on it, it fits really well. So you wanna find a spot where you can add it, and I'm actually gonna move my red heart over a little bit to be able to make it fit. So if I want to put him maybe right here, and you can see how those kind of go together. So now I have my sculpture starting to get some height there. And that's what you can do. As many hearts as you can get, and then you can just start building and choosing your own kind of direction and how you want to do your Legos. I think I'm going to stick one over here maybe like right there. And you can just create whatever kind of sculpture you want. So I've got one here, maybe I'll do a side one right here. And they can be a little fidgety, so just be careful and make sure that when you add them on, they're nice and strong. So the one way to do that is like this one here, my blue one, I did connect it to two different hearts. That's gonna make it a lot stronger versus like these two are only connected to each other. So if I can figure out how to connect those, so if I do that one there, oh, and see that's why we want to try and connect them. And if I do this one right here, nope, one more over. And then I add my heart on top that fell off. Now it's even stronger because I've connected these groups. So if I can connect this group and this group with my next heart, it will be extra strong. And you can see how finicky it is. This is why you want to be super careful. So I'm going to make sure those are back connected. I'm missing my bottom over here. And this is your chance just to kind of play around and see what you can come up with and be creative with it. This guy, I believe, came from right here. 
Now I'm going to try and connect these two, which might be hard because they are not quite the same height. But if I put this one maybe right here, we're going to go right there. So it's not perfect, but, oh, there it is. So now, see how stable it is just because I added that way? So all my hearts in some way are technically all connected together into one. So that's what makes it nice and stable. And I have, let's see, I have five more hearts. So again, you can build as many of these as you want and create a sculpture as tall as you want, as long as you want. It's all up to you and your creativity. So you just keep adding those hearts and deciding where you want them to be. So like if I want this one over here, you can add him over here. And maybe one right here. And you just keep adding until you run out of hearts. So this brown one, let's see if I can connect him so he's stronger. Oh, yep, he will connect just like that. So now I connected this brown one, so now he's nice and strong. And the nice thing is, again, because of all the ridges we left and because we used normal brick instead of specialty brick, we're able to create a masterpiece of our own. I have two more hearts left. Looks like we need something over here. Last heart, how about right in the middle here? So there is my heart sculpture. So you guys can be creative, build as many hearts as you can, create a masterpiece. We would love to see them if you want to share them with us. And just keep building. And those are our builds for the day. So we made our castles, whatever color scheme you chose. Maybe you chose to go with our classic castle or you chose to go with some fun colors. So you have those castles we learned how to build and then our beautiful heart sculpture, which your families and friends are gonna to love to see, so show it off. And with all of this, we learned some brick locking as well as went back to some basics. If you're interested in learning some more, see me in the next one, which is our advanced, where you can learn even more.